All right, guys. Uh, this one's gonna be kind of a fast one. Uh, there's a lot of people asking how to do custom models like the tubes on the exhaust plugs on either this back here, and, and like the new system and in general. Um, we don't use the old system; it's dead. Nobody uses it. Uh, you're better off porting up. Um, some of us in the Hero Pack uh, Central Discord won't even help with the old system because we don't know it. We've given up on it. We've moved to the new one because it's so much easier. So I'm going to show you how to add these custom models with the new system. So what you're going to want to do is go to where your Hero Pack is. So let me open this up. I'm not going to be running it with you. I'm just going to show you how. So we're going to go here to your... First, you're going to go to your renderers file. We're going to go... We're going to go to the one we want the model on. We're going to minimize that. We're just going to get everything ready here. Uh, make sure that you add your texture. That's items, not heroes. Make sure that you add the texture for your model. See here it says exhaust. And you also add your models in models tabula. Make sure it's a TBL. After you've added the model to that folder and you've added the texture to the texture folder, you're going to go to your renderer, like we just did. And what you're going to need to do is have the texture up here. So you normally have your layer one, layer two, lights, whatever. You're going to want to add one. For me, it's exhaust. So you would add exhaust and then the domain name of your texture. Then we're going to come down to here. I don't know if you need to do this, but I always do var utils. Uh, just a little thing. This is code for if you want to use just one piece of armor and just replace this with every piece of armor. Okay, moving on to just doing the models. So we're going to look at exhaust chest here because we're going to do the chest one. Um, so you're going to do function initiate effects renderer. This is uh, won't show up. I have this to label it. But you're going to do var model equals render.create resource model domain name of your model. Okay. Then you're going to do model texture set name of your whatever you named this up here. So exhaust. This is the name of your model. You want it to be the same as all this uh, or as this one. So you got exhaust equals render.create effect. Fisk Heroes model set model model all right and then here exhaust anchor dot set uh, you can set this to body any of these so head head wear body right arm left arm left leg you know right leg uh, this one is set to body i also have some here for left leg so i'm going to show you that in a minute um and then this will get that ready what you need to do after you do this is come down here and do function render entity render layer is first person arm uh, if is first person arm if render layer equals chest plate and then you're gonna do exhaust or whatever your name thing is dot render parentheses with nothing in them uh semicolon now if you want to do an arm one or a leg one you always have to bind it to the right leg so that the movement is fluid and stays with that thing. But you're like, oh, uh, when I have it on there, it's not in the right spot. So what you would do is you would do the name of your model, dot set offset, and then you would just adjust these three numbers until it's perfect. So I have adjusted it until they're on the side of his legs, those little gold things. Um... So you would just add this line of code onto it. Now, when you're doing stuff on the legs and the arms, you don't have to do two separate models. You could probably just mirror it to the other side, but I always do two models. Uh, if you want to see how to apply the mirror uh, to the model, you can look at anti-monitor in the Fisk Heroes code. Um, and then that's basically it. Uh, once you have all this, it should render right up uh, and show you a game. Now, I have multiple suits with custom models like Boss. We go here. He has ears. 
and they're applied to his head, and he has grenades, they're applied to his arms. And you see when they're applied to the arms, they move perfectly fluid with the arms. But if, say we go in here to Bakugo, and we bind the right arm to, I don't know, the bot. And we come back in, and we uh, reload. It's going to be in a completely different spot because of my offset, but that's not what I want to show you. See how it's in the middle of my body? It's no longer moving with the arm. It's staying in one spot. So if you're doing arms or legs, you want to bind it to the correct leg. So right arm. Um, and that's about it for you guys. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, you know, anything like that, you can always leave them in the comments. Or you can check out Herefax Central. Uh, we're always happy to help. Like I said, uh, a lot of us don't like to help with the new, with the old render system. Um, because it's awful. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not awful, but it's way worse than what we have now with the new render system. So I recommend doing the new render system. Uh, refer back to this video as much as you need. And as always, you refer to the Fisk Heroes code. Um, I'm probably get a video out to you guys on how to extract the main code. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.